Hello, my name is Amanda and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I match my fabrics. Quite recently, I've had a few requests from you guys asking me to show you how I match my fabrics. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. So I have three different examples I'm going to show you. Each one sort of a little bit more difficult than the last and each fabric that I'm using is different in color scheme, different in the print and different in just how busy they are. Now of course when you're matching your fabrics you are matching it also for a block. In this case I'm not. I don't really have an end block that I'm matching my fabrics for. I'm just purely showing you just the sort of steps that I take to match fabric with a particular print that I sort of want to use as the focal point or the focal part of the design. So obviously when you're doing this in real life uh, you'll be matching your fabrics to work for a particular block and to also have a specific outcome in the quilt layout and design that you want. So with that said these are the different types of methods that I take to match my fabrics. So we're going to start off with this beautiful Denise Schmidt print. This is from her Piccadilly line and because the print is so intense and just so sort of busy, I want to match it with a solid. Now usually I would try and match this fabric with another fabric with the same colour within the print. So for example, I could definitely pair this fabric with just a really nice creamy white sort of solid or homespun but for some reason I'm just finding that the white is just uh, just a little bit boring a little bit safe and with this one I really want to push the boundaries with what I match it with so I'm going to take this away and put this beautiful teal minty color with it and I find that it just sort of makes this print just pop and sing and I really really love it. The reason why these two fabrics sort of work really quite nicely is because the pink and this sort of greeny, tealy, bluey kind of colour are almost opposites on the colour wheel and colours that are opposite on the colour wheel match really really nicely. So that is one way that I like to match my fabrics especially when I'm just using one pretty intense print and I'm matching it with a solid. Now in this next fabric I'm going to sort of ramp up the amount of fabrics that I'm choosing to pair this print with. This fabric is by Sarah Felke and it is from her Millie Fiori range that she exclusively bought out in partnership with Spotlight. It's a simple but busy type print. It has a white background with tiny little yellow spots and then green on green type spots there as well. So when I'm looking at matching fabrics for this one what I first look at is the predominant type color and for me it's the white background so I really want to pair this with a white fabric that will then sort of help make a lot of green spots in it pop out now again I could choose to use a just a normal solid print with it but this time I want to do something a little bit different and I've decided to use this really cool white on white chevron print it's still matching the white background of this fabric but the white chevron is just adding direction it's adding interest and a little bit of busyness which I quite like putting into my quilts next I'm going to look at maybe matching the little yellow spots and I have two fabrics that I have chosen out of my range to maybe sort of mix with them. The first one is this one. Now this in itself is quite a busy print and it's a little bit hard to see on the camera but this is quite a goldy type of yellow and this is more almost like a sunshiny type yellow in the Sarah Felke fabric. So although it does kind of match I'm not really quite sure that it will match like all over type thing. So I'm putting that one to one side and instead I've got this really nice yellow solid and it is pretty much exactly the same as the yellow spot in this fabric. The next thing that I'm going to look at are the little green spots that are in this print and I'm going to match two fabrics that are as close as possible to the two greens that are in it. The first one that I think that looks the best match is a fabric that I'm absolutely in love with at the moment and it is by Cotton and Steel and it is part of their basics range. You can see there that it is really quite a close match to uh, the light green that's in these spots and also the white crosses in this print go really really well with 
the background of this fabric as well as the chevron. And the last fabric that I'm going to match with this print is this really sweet spot fabric. Again, it matches really quite closely with the darker green in the spots and the white spots go with the white background as well as the white in this and the chevron. So that one works out really, really well. And because all of these fabrics have a really nice print to them, apart from the solid, um, it will give it really great sort of direction, it'll give it depth, and the density of the prints will sort of work off each other and just sort of balance each other out, which is always something that I'm looking at when I'm matching my fabrics. And the last fabric that I'm going to use to show you how I match my fabrics is this beautiful vintage bouquet floral fabric. I absolutely love the navy background and the lovely pop of colours in the flowers that are on it. So when I'm looking at a print like this, I look at the colours that sort of pop out at me the most. And obviously it's the navy background, but the next one that sort of pops out is these gorgeous little red flowers. So I'm going to try and match a fabric that's almost as close to this red as I can. So before I show you the fabric that I have chosen to match with this one, I'm going to show you some other different types of variations. So the first colour that I got out to match with the red flowers was this Denise Schmidt spot fabric. I wasn't too sure whether it would really match with the red, but I thought let's get it out and have a look. But putting it together, I realised that no, it doesn't really work. However, I do like the combination of the flowers and the spots, but unfortunately this colour isn't right for this flower. So because of that I looked at another fabric that was maybe just a little bit darker in red and I got this maroony pin spot type fabric out and I realised it's too dark for this red and doesn't really go. It makes the navy look a lot darker and yeah. I just don't like it. It just doesn't look right. And then finally I got out this beautiful red on red print fabric and it just it just works. It just sort of makes everything pop out really really nicely. It matches really nice with these flowers here and it works really well with bringing out all the other colours in this print. Now the next thing I'm going to look at is perhaps adding in a solid and because there's almost sort of little white sort of spots in and around all of the different types of flowers I'm going to add in a nice solid white. That's just made my lighting go really bad. Let's pop it under here. So if I pop that there and then use this solid as sort of like the outlining of the block that I choose, then that will really help to make all of the colours that I match up with this print to really pop out. Then the next colour that sort of pops out to me are all these gorgeous little yellow type flowers. So this was a, another one that I struggled finding the right yellow for. And the first one that I sort of got out was another yellow on yellow chevron. Now I paired it with all of the other fabrics that I'm using, but I just find that it just looks a little bit too sort of bright and overpowering. And I just think that the chevron is just a little bit too much for this really nice florally you know, pretty kind of print. The next yellow one that I got out was this beautiful pin spot type fabric. It works well, I think, but I think it's just a little bit too sort of washed out type yellow. And plus I don't really have enough, so that's not really going to work. But then finally I found this really nice fat quarter of a really muted type yellow with a white uh, Print through it. I think this one matches really quite nicely as it matches with the white solid and the yellow that's in it is just slightly more softer than the yellow in this print but it still works. And lastly I'm going to match up some of the blues that are in this fabric. So there's a really nice sort of dainty blue here and then I'm also going to try and find a fabric that matches with the navy in the print. So the first light blue fabric that I got out uh, that I thought would work really, really well is another fabric from Denise Schmidt and it's this one. I have forgotten what range it's from, which is not very good, but anyway. So I find that the blues in this print work really well with the little floral flowers in this one. It also has a really nice subtle white scheme going through it which works well with this fabric and the solid. And I think it just really ties in quite nicely with these other print fabrics. 
And lastly, because I am absolutely obsessed with spots, I have chosen to use this lovely blue spot fabric with a nice navy background and white spot to match with the navy on this print. With this one, you could also go another step further and match a really nice green with some of the green sort of leaves that are in this print. But at the moment, I think this is enough. And I find that if I'm sort of getting a little bit overwhelmed by all the fabrics, just sort of mix and match them all together just to make sure that they all sort of go well with each other. I can sort of put this one under there just to see that it will sort of work well with these all together. That's just one thing that I find that when I've got lots of fabrics matching for one fabric, it's just to sort of mix and match them all together just to see if they will work. Oh, I might pop that one under there just to see if they will go well together and they do. So there are a few ways that I match my fabrics when I have a particular print that I really want to use in a quilt and then how I match fabrics sort of around it. Like I said at the start, match your fabrics around the block that you're using. When you're using just one print as a focal, look at the colours within the print of the fabric to be able to choose other fabrics to go with it and that's how you'll sort of have like a harmonious type of balance to the block and to the quilt. Don't be scared to use print on print or solid on solid or a print and just a solid together and match fabrics to your aesthetic. It's okay to keep it simple, to keep it plain. It's also okay to choose really busy prints or loud prints and sort of make them go together to make them clash and to um, sort of create a really type of cool off the wall type design it's okay choose fabrics and match fabrics that look good to you that match your aesthetic and that will just make the end result of the quilt to the way that you like now of course the way that i match my fabrics and what i think looks good will differ in opinion with you and that's okay that's totally fine i'm the type of person who loves big bold type prints and I love putting those together just to make something look really quite intense and dramatic. And then if I feel that those fabrics are just a little bit too much together, I'll sort of whack in a solid and it'll just sort of even everything out. Now if you have a different way of matching fabrics to the way that I do, please comment below and share your knowledge and the way that you do it with everyone. I think it's really great to share with others the way that you do things so that we can learn from each other and sort of enrich our knowledge and become better quilters. Yes. Now I really do hope the steps that I have shown you in this video will help you with your matching fabric crisis. If you're having difficulty with that, just know that it sometimes takes time to know what sort of works together and also it does take time to sort of build up a stash of different fabrics that you can sort of pull out and mix and match with and say, does that work? Mm, no, let's try this other one. Yes, it does work. So, oh, and one other tip that I have, if you're sort of finding it difficult to see if prints work together, just squint your eyes and sort of step back a bit and you will end up sort of finding what does work and what doesn't work. It really is just, you know, trial and error and really just seeing what you think works best. So I'm also planning on writing a blog post about this subject this week. If I've got my act together this weekend and have written that blog post at the same time as this video coming out then there'll be a link down below if not keep checking and i will definitely put a link to that blog post once it's done in the description box and also if you follow my blog you will get a little notification email um, saying that the post is put up oh my gosh can i be talking anymore <laughs> stop rambling amanda Oh my gosh. So after all that rambling, I will be writing a blog post about it and you can find it down below when it is available. So if you're new to my channel and would like to see more of the things that I do here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you come and join us. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye!